Greetings. I would like to welcome you to our daily weekday Mass, held here at the National Shrine of St. Therese on the Carmelite campus in Darien, Illinois. The Carmelites cherish praying and celebrating with you. This shrine is the blessing of a generous gift from the Margie and Robert Peterson Foundation. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Dexter O. Riola. May he rest in peace. Coming together as God's family on this, the feast day of St. Albert of Jerusalem, the lawgiver for the Carmelites, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, through St. Albert of Jerusalem, you have given us a rule of life according to your gospel to help us attain perfect love through his prayer. May we always live in allegiance to Jesus Christ and serve faithfully until death him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Put God's armor on so as to be able to resist the devil's tactics. For it is not against human enemies that we have to struggle, but against the sovereign ties and the power who originate the darkness in this world, the spiritual army of evil in the heavens. That is why you must rely on God's armor or you will not be able to put up any resistance when the worst happens, or have enough resources to hold your ground. So, stand your ground with truth, buckle round your waist, and integrity for the breastplate, wearing for shoes on your feet, the eagerness to spread the gospel of peace, and always carrying the shield of faith, so that you can use it to put out the burning arrows of the evil one. And then you must accept salvation from God to be your helmet and receive the word of God from the Spirit to use as a sword. 
Pray all the time, asking for what you need, praying in the Spirit on every possible occasion. Never get tired of staying awake to pray for all the saints. The Word of the Lord. Your word is a light for my path. Lord, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your word is a light for my path. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey your word. I have not turned from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Your promise is sweeter to my taste than honey in the mouth. Your word is a lamp for my steps and light for my path. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I am your servant. Give me knowledge, then I shall know your will. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus called to his disciples and said to them, You know that among the pagans the rulers lord it over them, and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to be great among you must serve, must be your servant, and anyone, anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Albert of Jerusalem, who this is not in the Roman canon. This is a special Carmelite feast and he lived in the 1200s and was the patriarch of Jerusalem at the time that the Carmelites had been formed and that they requested for him to write a rule of life for them. And you might remember that originally the Carmelites were hermits, so they lived in separate dwellings on Mount Carmel and they came together for prayer for meals and for community meetings. Most of the time they spent in their cells uh, praying and in listening to how the Lord was speaking them to them in their daily life. Now one of the things that we hear in today's first reading is that there is an emphasis on putting on armor of our Lord Jesus Christ against evil. And one of the particular gifts and also, in a sense, the vocation of someone who is a hermit or someone who is dedicated to prayer is that there are going to be spiritual battles. And one of the great books in Western theology that outlines this so well for us is The Life of St. Anthony by St. Athanasius. It helps us to understand that when one desires to encounter God deeply, there are battles that occur. And in fact, sometimes even in the course of our life, when we experience suffering, illness, or other kinds of ways that we feel our life is not the way we want it to be, a lot of times our Lord is speaking to us in those moments. Our Lord is trying to get our attention. Our Lord wants us to listen to how he is present to us and how he desires to be with us. Certainly our own Saint Therese recognized at a time when she was in her greatest suffering that she experienced 
times of great suffering and also times of great comfort because she knew that the Lord is with her. But those did not come easily, those moments of insight. It came with great suffering, and it came with her heart being turned, in a sense, upside down. I'm sure all of us in the course of our life can think of moments or events that have upset us very deeply and have caused us to recognize that there is a desire for us to, first of all, ask our Lord for help, but also to ask for his healing presence and to calm the waters that may be disturbed in our lives at that particular moment. In today's gospel, Jesus focuses on those who are servants not to think of themselves as being first, but to think of themselves as being servants to others. And one of the particular gifts of the Carmelite order is that the person who is our head at any given time, whether it be the general in Rome who is in charge of all the men and women Carmelites throughout the world, or if it is our own provincial who is in charge of the Carmelites in our province, which is United States, Canada, El Salvador, and Peru, and Mexico, and soon to be Honduras. So when we think about all of the work that they have to do, they're elected for a certain amount of time, they're the head, essentially our bishop, and then they go back to being an ordinary brother again. There's no special title for them. We, of course, respect them because they were our general or our provincial, but they really become one of the brothers again. And that is incredibly unique among religious orders. For example, with the Benedictines, what, once someone is an abbot, they're an abbot for life. And that title and those responsibilities carry with them until their death. For us, our provincial or our general becomes once again another person. And so the point here is, if you know that you're the boss, and you're only going to be the boss for maybe six years, do you think you're going to be kinder to people that you know you're going to be living with as not their boss anymore? Do you think you're going to be more aware of how your decisions, how your particular role as a leader can affect them more deeply when you recognize you yourself might be in that role again? You, you, might self, you yourself might be under them at some point as the provincial. So it, it helps us to recognize that truly we are all servants of Christ and that we should not never use our leadership or our role in, in order to cause someone to suffer, in order to cause someone to be unhappy. And so as we remember St. Albert of Jerusalem today, we remember a man of prayer, of someone who gave us our rule as Carmelites, which is full of scripture, and someone who himself was martyred because uh, someone didn't like him, essentially. And it happened on the feast day of the exaltation of the cross on September 14th in 1214 in Acre, which is close to present-day Haifa, which is close to Mount Carmel. Let us bring our prayers before our Heavenly Father. Let us pray, first of all, for our bishop, priests, deacons, and religious, and certainly for our Pope Francis, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for those who are least in our world, especially those who are suffering at this time, especially because of lack of food, because of storms that they have experienced, or because of drought, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our Carmelite leadership and for Carmelites throughout the world on this feast day as they reflect on the rule and the gift that it is to them. 
we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for supporters of the Society Little Flower, for their intentions, we pray to the Lord. Let us remember those who are sick, for those who are in any way suffering, that they may experience deeply the healing presence of Christ in their life, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our beloved dead, especially today for Dexter O. Rialo. Riala, for him and for all those beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. And let us remember today first responders for our troops serving throughout the world for their safety and that they may return safely to their families, we pray to the Lord. And let us now bring our own prayers and our own longings before our Father in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Father, we bring all our prayers before you. We ask you to hear them through the intercession of St. Albert of Jerusalem. We ask our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord, you have chosen us to bear witness in this world to your love. May the gifts we reverently offer you make us faithful in doing your will and proclaiming your word. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. You give the Church this feast day in honor of St. Albert of Jerusalem. You inspire us by his holy life, instruct us by his preaching, and give us your protection and answer to his prayers. We join the angels and the saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other an appropriate sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ, give me saved for everlasting life. of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord, by the power of this sacrament and the prayers of St. Albert of Jerusalem, keep us ever in your presence through an unceasing reflection on your law and watchfulness in prayer. May we one day enjoy the eternal possession of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, please remember to be generous on your way out with the offertory basket toward the back. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Through the prayers of St. Albert of Jerusalem, may God enable you to live in allegiance to Jesus Christ, pure in heart and steadfast in conscience, pondering God's law day and night and keeping watch at your prayers. Amen. May the Lord equip you with the belt of chastity, the breastplate of holiness, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit enable you to earn your bread by silent labor, to find your strength in silence and hope, and to live in service of your brothers and sisters, and to find Christ in the superiors he has placed over you. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us offer a prayer to Mary, our mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I lead Mount Carmel. Pray for us. Go in the peace of Christ. The Mass is ended. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.